Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign. I got a goodie for you. It is time for another Flashpoint of Unknown Origin. It's the start of a multi-Flashpoint uh, sort of mission. We are required to field heavy mechs, so this is going to be a bit of a problem. But uh, let's see how well we can circumvent the whole thing. The Draconis Combine is going to be our employer and there will be a few rare items that we could get if we're playing our cards right. So, Renault here has a problem. They have uh, intercepted a signal and they want to find out what that signal is about. These deep uh, periphery signal <clears throat> we of course will investigate and he's like yep all good so let's jump into the loadout for today we got our unknown origin flashpoint 24 holy shit that's a lot of salvage almost inclined to go for salvage here oh and that is against the local pirate organization i hate to see it but yeah 24 salvage we'll we'll go for that not even a question the mechs are slightly damaged but nothing that is of great concern so let's deploy and see how well we're doing in that two school difficult flashpoint. And here we go. Time to deploy. 24 pieces of salvage. I am not going to let that opportunity slip. The only thing we need to do is scout the syndicate over here and destroy the base. Like, can't be that difficult, can it? Okay, so we're going to use a Reaper here as our scout. I look at the situation. This here is pretty much a death trap. Might as well want to go in from here and then down there. So time to sprint over. This thick woods here will become a bit problematic for us. Acknowledged. The move. Forest is great for damage reduction, but forest unfortunately is also kind of the bane for anyone who tries to move. To and since I am not particularly favoring jump jets, We've got an unknown on uh, this is typically one of the disadvantages the that you accept when doing the builds. On the aspect of jump jets i know that a lot of players really like them and for smaller mechs and sometimes medium mechs they are fine the problem that i always found with jump jets is that they do not really play that well if you look into the details of how they work you're sacrificing quite a bit of firepower just to make them work and since the game very often tends to be a brawl of some sort because the maps are too small to actually completely Deploy kite an enemy what are your orders, Skipper? you are forced Commander. with a difficult decision if you're not going for jump jets you're essentially uh, if you're going for jump jets you're essentially accepting that you're dealing less damage and that is a problem ready to rock The other option is jump jets and less armor, but I can tell you firsthand that that is a really bad option. It just doesn't work so well. No problem. Hate to do it, but let's just try uh, to hit it. Yep, yeah, perfect. That worked out well. I was hoping we could destroy the leg. Griffin sprints in. 
And we're in a solid position. Standing by. All right, Vindicator moves up. Let's use some Vigilance because we're potentially being attacked. And fully unload on that fleet. That also means the flea is down, they don't have vision on us. We're continuing with reserve. And yeah, that's minus 40% damage. Fighting against the Vindicator. Okay, mirror match. Blackjack moves in. Taking a single shot. And let's give it two LRM 15s. Oh, ho, ho, ho. someone's taking a lot of damage, that's for sure. But then that might even be a kill. Almost. All right. Heavily battered, very unsteady. Yes, Commander. Moving out. We're continuing with vigilance just because I think we're also continuing to be the frontliner for now. That vindicator will eventually die. Take that. It's now being knocked down. There we go. Definitely the right uh, spider senses here. Indicator uh, continues to tank. I'm rolling. Blackjack unloads on the enemy's Vindicator. And that is a successful kill. Out. Time for some more pain. Oh yeah, that guy took a hit. Riffin has 40% damage resistance as well, automatically due to Hawkbite having Bulwark as an ability. That Enforcer is tumbling. This time we can go for precision strike, effectively reducing his initiative. And with that initiative reduction, all of our mechs will have a turn before he can take a turn. So that was an efficient use. Let's just stick with lasers for now. That hit something good. I can do. But this hopefully is going to kill it. Yeah. Enemy mech destroyed. Ready for order. And our LRM boat races. No Very good. So that's three enemies down. Time for a round of cooldown. What's up, Commander? Consider it done. Full throttle. Good. Everybody just lost some steam. Yes, Commander. And there is a single flea. Well. That is not very threatening. Specifically, if the first hit already knocks it down. 
Just a little Steve Ace of status. Ready to rock. Roger that, Commander. Good work, Commander. Proceed to the next objective. Good, fantastic. We saved <clears throat> quite a bit of ammunition overall. We'll go. Copy that, Commander. Speed there in the ship. But something's going to land here. You can see it because as soon as you would stand there and the drop pod would just land, you would essentially destroy that unit. Moving to position. Alright, sprinting. And if we're lucky, that might have been it. I somewhat doubt that that was the entire mission. Copy that. I got you. Position confirmed. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. We're heading your way. All right, Valentine here. Hey, Mercs. I don't know who you are, but get the hell out of here. You don't know whom you're dealing with. Yeah, we immediately got ambushed. Luckily, we had quite a bit of movement uh, blips. So those guys get the first shot. All right, fair enough. They opened up an arm on the Vindicator. Now it's our turn. Vindicator... Moves in. Uh, this here is what? The right arm. So oh, that's a good position. That. Vigilance for less damage. And that Vindicator here. How about we're preventing it from really moving? Firing on target. It's now down to two initiative. And that means every single one of our mechs can take an action. Centurion has an AC-10 or an AC-20 loaded. I do not like that at all. Black check moves up. Just double checking it's an AC-10 luckily. Black check also vigilance. And the Vindicator takes a lot of damage, which is fantastic, just like I was hoping it would work out. Good, Centurion takes one hit. The Vindicator here takes all of the other damage. Fighter is down. Took way too much damage overall. Fantastic. Sprinting in with the Griffin. We got two Vigilance... Um, vigilance in short medium X right there. Potentially need to use the Vindicator in order to get even further back. All right, the indicator moves further back. Again, vigilance. Javelin can take quite a bit of damage. Alternatively, we could start hitting that Centurion. I think that's the better play. All right, Javelin deals some damage. Tigan does not have enough 
inspiration to deal with the um, Centurion. So let's reserve, let the Centurion go. That way we take less damage. Minus 40% instead of minus 20. I was aware that I couldn't fully kill this guy. The javelin here, however. It's definitely in leather range. Alright, very good hit. I don't like the 60%. Hmm. Seventy percent is good. Yeah, let's let's go for that. Location confirmed. Multi shot. Javelin unload. And we continue a bit with the Centurion. I got enough for everybody. Centurion is out of evasion blips. Griffin moves up. And let's fully unload. Chaplin is surprisingly tanky for a light mech. Commander. Affirmative. Indicator continues with the Vigilance and let's Copy continue that. on that Javelin overall. Reporting critical hit. All right, good enough. Reporting serious armor loss. Yeah. What can I do you for? Hmm. Located That's actually a, de uh, a decent position. Finishing, almost finishing the javelin. So, Centauri. All right, so moving back, we got a Javelin here and we got a Centauri on here. Thanks to Multishot, that should definitely be doable. Let's uh, let's give him an LRM fifteen. We're still having enough ammunition. Multiple enemies locked in. Good. The Centurion lost a bit of stability, and we finally killed the javelin up there. Which brings us neatly to the Griffin.
Let's fully unload on the Centurion. Hot damn, let's do this! Ooh, ooh, ooh the black chick. That shot got through my armor. Here is the herd. Yes, Commander. All right, Vindicator moves up. Precision strike to delay this guy. And let's hit him really, really well. AC-10 is gone. Target's taken a critical hit. Confirmed. We're looking at the right arm. Acknowledged. Good. Time for vigilance, just in case. I'm on him. Something I can do. And let's get this guy down. I got him. Tango down. All right, we still got our arm on the black chick. Trying to hit the javelin. They will get one more turn. Watch the flank. Hitting the back, which is good. I was positioning the arm so that they cannot hit it unless they were jumping over here. All right, Javelin took Standing a massive by. hit to the center torso. Vindicator moves up. Continuing to engage. Scored a critical hit. Good to go. Javelin is almost down. Heading out. out. Centurion fully unloads. And that's that. Okay, closer mission than expected. Il Rospo has mission taken quite successful. a beating, although they had the first strike and could uh, ambush us. We definitely were fighting back, so that was good. I, I like the positioning how we essentially managed to single each of them out. Low payout, but I think we're going to get quite a bit of loot. Six items is fantastic. Look at that, just so much loot. Enforcer. Centurion. Yes, please. We could get an entire Vindicator. Which I think we're going to do. And let's get the PPC here. Good. 12 million worth of loot. We got even more stuff. So yeah, in hindsight, I'm happy that we select the 24 loot items. That was good. Good, we got the remax. Look at that. So we got a vindicator here. The one that we're that we're currently running is the one R. Uh, that is the one AA. The one R has more laser points and a couple more support hard points. This one here is potentially better uh, for jumping. It's it's not bad. We can definitely use it. The enforcer. 
uh, is a go another good brawler and has a cannon slot so kind of an upgrade to the blackjack but we already have two further medium mechs in the doing and the flea as the third uh, mech that we just got kind of as a bonus so to speak Good. The Cita lens, that was uh, the lens that we were just fighting against. And you can see a lot of Star League's old historical content on the ship indicates that there is even more um, to be found. So this is just the start of a longer kind of episode behind it. But yeah, for unknown origins, next one is yet again a fantastic salvage mission. Holy shit. I'm torn in between a million funds and the amount of salvage. We do 50-50, that's potentially... Typically it's not the best, but boy, that is fantastic. It is actually a good setup. Maybe we're going for 24 salvage. That is so rare to have so much salvage. The Bowman Group is kind of that consortium which wants to, uh, which wants to get the entire ship um, and they will be our main antagonists over the over the course of this mox can besides uh, besides multi-targeting can uh, get a second skill and what i usually like to do for multi-targeting is kind of build that guy into into uh, someone who can also um, use laser bolts uh, quite a bit so the cooling uh, vent goes well with it and of course my personal favorite skill the bulwark goes really well with that so Mech warrior training complete. having Standing him high. in that uh, slot is a good Get idea commander. reaper almost got her first her first tier commander? ability as well so that's good and which brings us kind of to the end of today's episode let's continue the flashpoint the next time that we're uh, playing swan song i thank you for your attention and how about you leave a nice comment down below and let me know how you like battletech take care and have a good one guys bye bye